And that was the National Anthems. Hello, welcome on to the debut of the World Football League Fall Season. Today's game is between the London Monarchs and the Austin Desperados. As you notice, we have a new rule change. 15-minute quarters, so we're in for a fun ride. And now speed's on slow, and we are ready to go here from Austin. The 2018 fall season is underway here in the WFL. This one will be returned from the end zone. And getting out to the 23, that is Lynn Gunter on the return. And now we see the Monarchs come out. Let's see their quarterback, Taylor Ebner, who is 83 overall, 93 throw power. He has good ratings in Madden. And now, let's get the first play out. You see they come right out of the huddle this year as Ebner gets his guys to the line. Here's the snap. Ebner looking to throw, has time in the pocket. Now he lets one go to his tight end, Clayton Silver, up to the 40. And first play from scrimmage for the Monarchs this season gets him a first down. Take another look at that. And it looked like number 35, uh, Kyler Chavis, was out there on the tackle. And you see the replays there. Coming to the line, first and 10 for the, for the Monarchs. Ebner going to hand it off to the running back, number 28, Daryl Nickerson. And he is taken down for a loss of two by Medlock. Medlock is the... Tay Medlock, the defensive end. But let's see another look at that. He had nowhere to run. All the running lanes were clogged. Coming up on 2nd and 12 for the Monarchs at their own 37-yard line. T Tyler looking to throw over the middle. That's complete to his tight end, number 42, Clayton Silver. And now let's take a look at the Monarchs' offense. There's a guy to highlight on the offensive line. Actually, here's a guy to highlight. Donnell Smallwood, number 84, who has, who has superstar X-Factor ability. Third, how to come out of there, third and eight. Ebner going right side. That's complete to number 36, Marcus Judge, the running back. And that, and that gains another first down for the Monarchs. And we take another look at that one. That's a great play by him. And now another first down for the Monarchs at the 49. Ebner going to hand it off to Nickerson. Nickerson pushing through. I think he got the first down. And I think... As you notice, there aren't any... They took out the refs for Madden this year. As Adams, number 20, that is Jason Adams, the free safety, makes the tackle. And looks like Charles made the first push. And first down to 10 for the Monarchs at the, at the 39. Here's the snap, gonna play fake. Ebner steps up to throw, and that is over the middle and incomplete. And now let's take a look at the, the, uh, the Desperados defense. Raphael McIntyre, guy to highlight on the defensive line. In linebackers, I like Antoine McGowan. And on, in the secondary, I like a cornerback, number 42, Leon Charles. As the Monarchs come up on second and 10 from the 39. Ebner, under pressure, is going to get a short route off to number 28, Daryl Nickerson. And so they're going to hurry up to the line, third down and three. Ebner, looking to throw over the middle. That's complete to Gray. And he'll get up to the 21. So far, Ebner having a good, a good start throwing the football. Four for five on this first drive. And he gets Gerald Gray with his first catch of the, of the evening. 
to move the chains again for a first down. First down attempt for London at the 21. Ebner, left side, complete to, to Clayton Silver. It'll be second down now. Going to give it to, to Judge. And he moves the chains for a first down up at the 10. It's going to be first and goal. And the Monarchs are in the red zone. Take another look at that. That's a great run by Judge to get the tough yards that they needed. And he gets the first down out of it. First and goal for London at the 10. Going across the middle, faking the jet sweep, handing it off to Nickerson. And he gets about three yards to the seven. Second and goal for the Monarchs at the seven yard line. Ebner steps up to throw under pressure and he throws it away out of the back of the end zone. It'll be third and goal from the seven. Here's Ebner. He has time in the pocket now. Throws right side. That's complete to 42. Uh, Clayton Silver, but just short of the goal line as it'll be fourth down. Look at the replay. There's the catch by Silver. He tries to go in. A nice effort to extend his body, but unfortunately just short. And so we're going to see the kicker, Grant Tom Thomason, for the first time today. And the kick is up and good. So London strikes first at, fr from a Thomason field goal. And it's 3 nothing. That first drive was brought to you by Atwood Family Farms, the official blueberry of the World Football League. Here is the kickoff. And on the return for Austin is I don't know. And here's the starting quarterback, Bill Kaufman. He's he's a guy to watch for this season. He is one of the best quarterbacks in the World Football League. And we'll see what he does. It's gonna be a first down for Austin. At the 28. Kaufman. Has time in the pocket lane to throw. And that is deflected by number 56. That is the linebacker Clifford Rowland. And now we'll see the offense. And look at Joey Massey, number 16, on the, the wide receiver. He is one of their X factors. And in this game, you see him lined up in the slot. They're going to give it to their running back for the first time, Lindsey McAllister. And now let's take a look at the, the defense for the Monarchs. A linebacker, I like Clifford Rowland. And then in the secondary, look at number 20, Jeremy Poindexter. One of their X-Factors on defense. You see right there by the 40-yard line. Coffin looking to throw. Has time. Floats it left side and it's incomplete. That pass was intended for Desmond Hubbard. And that's a great job by is Gerald Pickney to deflect that away. What a play. Or was it 45 Taj Means? Might have been. And so three and out for, for Austin and they will punt the football back. And a short return gets him to the 21. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That was, that was the starting running back, Daryl Nickerson, on the return. Now let's see what Ebner can do. He had a great first drive. But we'll see if they can, they can get him to a touchdown. 
Here's Ebner. Single backfield throw on left side. That's complete to number 87, Willis Russell, the wide receiver. Completes it for a first down. With Vance on the tackle for the Desperados. Looking at the replay. I think he made he made the cut left to get him and Russell's a good receiver. On the ready. And you see to the displeasure of Bill Kaufman on the sideline. First down gonna gonna play fake. Abner looking and I that should have probably been called for pass interference. Second down and 10 for London at the 37. Ebner, close to the right side, and that's it picked off. And he's going to go to the to the 20. He's going to have a return. And it's a touchdown for Austin. That is Jeff Ashmore, the strong safety with the pick six. 6-3, six, Austin leads. He just snagged it right out of the hands. Of, of Willis Russell and he he just returned it to the house that is a 40 46 yard return and you can see the defense for London in disbelief and now they're going to go for the extra point kick is up and it's good. Raymond Kershaw is the kicker. Oh no, I didn't mark the kickers in my note. Kick the different the difference between the kicker and the punter for Austin in my notes. So I think it was Kershaw. And so we will get the kickoff. And we'll see what the what the monarchs can do. See if they can recover from that pick six and and Gunter will return it to the 25. And there is there's Tyler Ebner looking at his stats eight for 12, 29 yards, but he threw that pick six. So we'll see if they can rebound. Gonna give it to. To judge on the ground and he'll pick up four yards to the 29 second down and six here is Ebner throwing that should have been intercepted again but it was deflected down by Ty Kyler Chavez third down and six for the Monarchs here's Ebner looking to throw pressure breaking over the middle that is caught by Lid Knighton for the first down. That was a great play. He was contested all over. Let's see. He was wide open. At first on the live shot, I thought it fell incomplete, but Knighton brought it in for a first down. Faking the jet sweep. Ebner. Pressure breaking. And he steps up in the pocket. And he can't get out of it as McIntyre gets one, half of a sack. And I'll see who the other one is. We'll probably get on the replay. Let's see. I think it was 50... 53 right there got one of the sack pressured for the sack to happen 53 that's Denzel Dixon the one of the outside linebackers for the Desperados second and 13 at the 36 here's Ebner we're gonna throw and under pressure again and he goes down again Connor Moss the outside linebacker getting there to take him down. You see Ebner in the pocket. Look at Connor Moss, number 93 there on the bottom of your screen. Breaks through the right tackle and forces him down. 
Oh, he should have released the ball much sooner than that. So it's going to be third and long from the 19-yard line. Here's Ebner. Has time. Gets a bullet pass accurate to, to number 15. That is... 15. Why is he not on my... Oh, I'm in the wrong team. That's why. Yes, number 15 is Gerard Gray. And that was Terrell with the tackle. And so they will punt it away as we see Raymond Fernandez for the first time today. As he'll get the boot this off and it takes a bounce and he saves it at the two to keep it in. What a punt. Taking a look at it and so there so the Desperados are gonna be backed up all the way at their own two. So I think they'll do is try to get a run play out of the out of the shadow of their own end zone. First down for Austin at their own two yard line. Two. Kaufman. Oh, what did he do? What did he just do? He stepped out of the back of his own end zone by mistake. That's going to cost him as it's a safety. And so London gets trails by two now. What did he just do? Looking at Ebner back out on the field. We'll see how he does. First down for London at their own 29. As they're going to get to Nickerson. Nickerson breaks through and steps out of bounds at the 44. First down and 10 for London at the 44. Going to throw completes to number 80, Knighton. And Knighton goes down holding his elbow. So we'll be back for, to Austin after this. And he looks like he's holding his right wrist. Going back into the locker room, that's not a good sign. Is it's first down and ten for for the Monarchs? Play action, and he fumbles the football. It's recovered, and he's gonna go. That is Connor Moss. He had a sack earlier. Now he scores a touchdown, a scoop and score for the Desperados. This defense has shown to be amazing in the in their in this first quarter. Oh, that's going to be I think that's going to be called back. And so we are going to go to the VAR to see. Yep. So we're going to go to the VAR to see and what I'm seeing here is I think that look at his knee. Right there, I think that that knee down, I think he's going to be down by contact. Yeah, boy. That's our ball. And oh. so, 91. no touchdown. London gets the ball back at their 49. They're going to Nickerson, and he gets, pow he gets plowed by three guys and gets hurt. Second injury for the for the Monarchs. Better news is that he's on the sideline, recovering. It's going to be third and long for the Monarchs. 
Ebner going to throw it over the middle to number 84, Donnell Smallwood. First reception from their X Factor today, and it'll be fourth down and 11 on the play. Looking at that, I think that's the first time we've called his name today. I think Small was expected to be a big star in this league. And that's why that's why he's probably some people's dark horse pick. Late late snap and it's it's returned. He's gonna go to the end zone. Touchdown! Elijah Valentine, the free safety on the scoop and score. This time it's going to be good as the Desperados extend their lead 13 to 5. I saw right when the snap. I think he got through and blocked the puck. The kick is up and it is good. 14 to 5 for Austin. And we are almost midway through the first quarter. Great defensive play. And now we're going to get Austin, uh, London's going to get the ball back. I don't think the Desperados have hardly been on offense today. Well, with, with Bill Kaufman getting that safety. Let's take a look at Tyler Ebner, and he has been under constant distress this entire game. Let's see, he's been getting sacked. He's had a few already in the game. First down for London at the 26. Play action. And there's another sec. This time it is number 70, Sean Charles, the defensive end. Enough. I think it's number 65, the Oliver Rates, the tackle. This offensive line's not that great. We they they knew this coming in. And they've just been bringing pressure upon pressure. Niggerson's going to run it left side. Gets up to the 29. That's going to be about seven yards. And it'll be third down and seven for the Monarchs. Here's Ebner. We're going to throw left side, and that's incomplete. Knocked away by number 54. Let me go through here. Number 54, Antoine McGowan. It looks like the pass was intended for tight ends Clayton Silver. Nice deflection by, by McGowan. And so they're going to, the Monarchs will punt it away again. That kicks away. And he'll he'll bring it in and get plowed down in the process. That was Desmond Hubbard. First down and ten for the for Austin at their own eighteen. Kaufman play action. He has time in the pocket now. He's going to let it go to Massey. Going down to the 44. First completion for Kaufman is to Bill Massey, knowing Massey for the first down. He is another great wide receiver. And I think watching, I thought that the, the Desperados offense has been that strong on their first two drives, but this drive's getting off to a great start. And it looks like 
It'll be first down for Austin at their own 44. Play action, Kaufman. Under pressure now, Kaufman is going to take it down, tug it down and run. And he will get four yards on that play to the 48. It'll be second and five. Kaufman over the middle. That's Joey Massey again. And look at that strength by Massey. He refused to go down until they brought in two other guys to get him down. Now he, Massey has two receptions for 40 yards. And that is another first down for Austin. And with that Joey Massey play, that is how we end the first quarter. Desperados lead 14-5. We come back. Welcome back to Austin. As the WFL is brought to you by EA Sports. It's in the game. As the handoff to McAllister goes up to the 31. It'll be second down. Doing a screen out right to, to to one of their superstar wide receivers, Desmond Hubbard. And he'll lose a couple of yards back to the 34. He'll bring up a third down. Look at that. I think he, he should have juked left and then went forward. Well, that was a horrible run. Third down and six for the the Desperados. Here's Kaufman. Under pressure is going to throw it left side to his receiver number 82. Tight end Cole Cade Bailey. Who I'm sure some of you saw in the national anthems. Cade Bailey is not going to get the first down but he will looks like he will it will be fourth down and four as as the field goal unit trots on kick is up sailing and through and Austin extends their lead by 12 they lead 17 to 5 Kershaw's the kicker I was right that means Grayson Donaldson is the punter And here we go again. This one will be returned from their own end zone. And taken up to the 25. That's where the, the Monarchs will start. First down for London at their own 25. Hey, come on out here. Come get some. Come get some. Come on here. Come get it. Go. Here's Ebner to get the handoff to Nickerson, and he will go nowhere as the ready, ready. as the rush comes in. And it'll be second down. Ebner taking the snap over the middle, and that is complete to Clayton Silver. Not enough to get the first down, but it'll be third down and one. Let's see that again. Over the middle to to Silver. That's a great play. Come on, set seventy Indy. Third down and one for London at their own thirty-three. Here's Ebner looking to throw. Sells it across the right side and, and gets Clayton Silver again for the tough yards to get a first down. And Coach Nolton is loving that as his guys get a first down. Here we go. 
First down for London at the 41. Nolt's going to give it off to Judge. Judge trying to juke, but gets up to the 46. It'll be second down and five. Coming up for the Monarchs. Sails at right side. That is complete to the running back, Nickerson. It looks like it'll be third and long for the Monarchs. That's a nice hit by Chavis. Third down and six. I think that they're gonna that the Desperados are gonna do a free safety blitz. They're prepared for that as they throw it left side, complete along the sideline, and he steps out of bounds at the 39. That was. Marcus Judge with the reception and gets up to the Austin 39 and gains the first down. Tell you that he looked, he knew where to cut and then juked out to avoid the big hit. First down and 10 for London at the 39. Here's Ebner over the middle. That's complete to Clayton Silver. Going up to the 29. And his second and inches. Excuse me, that wasn't Silver. That was the other tight end. Keontae McLaughlin. Nickerson with the run and loses a yard. Grant the tackle to Dixon on the defensive side. Dixon, excuse me, Dixon was there for the blitz, got through. They'll come up on third down and two for the Monarchs at the 30. Here's Nickerson going out wide. Ebner over the middle, that is that is McLaughlin who couldn't get over the line for the first down. Instead, it'll be a fourth and one. All he had to do was run straight. Instead, it'll be a fourth. Instead, they get fourth down. So here comes the field goal unit on. This is Grant Thomason. This is the second time we've seen him today. Kicks up and it is good. The Monarchs trail 8 to 17. But that field goal brings them a little bit closer. And here is the kickoff. Turning it from their, their own end zone. And it will return it out to the 24. Let's go, baby. Let's go. And the Desperados are getting the ball back. Let's see how Bill Kaufman will do. He, he got into enemy territory, which was, which was good, but only ended up in a, in a field goal. His team had the lead, but just from defensive plays... Kaufman gonna get it takes a his receiver uh, Hubbard gets takes a hard hit and it'll be second down Kaufman steps up in the pocket now he's gonna take it down and run for it he's got first down more slides down that should be a sending off for number 54 Moses Andrus should be kicked out of the game for that hit. Look at that. He slides down and Andrus has to make contact. The fans are outraged about it and so are we up, up here in the booth. 
First down at 10-4, Austin at the 46. Kaufman gonna give it to McAllister. Running through and he, and McAllister takes a hit at the 47. Kaufman rolling. And he will get it to his tight end, Diego Contreras. And it will be a loss of a few yards. It'll be third down and four. That was a bad read to go to if you wanted to get a first down. I mean, you had you had a defender right there. You can't throw it there if you want it. If you want to, if you want to get a first down, so it'll be third down and four for the Desperados. Here's Kaufman throwing, picked off. That is intercepted by number 22, Clay Phelps, for his first pick of the of the night. That was a that was a bad read. It should he should have not thrown that way. I think he was. I saw where he was going to with that regret with that throw decision, but wasn't a good decision. As Dale Nickerson and the Monarchs come back on the field, we'll see what they can do. Ebner. Throwing deep, that is complete to, to Silver up to the 37. And gains another first down. And Silver has reached 50 yards receiving for tonight. First down and 10 for London at the 37. Play action, Ebner pressured and that is gonna be a flag and a face mask. That's against Tay Medlock. And the Monarchs will of course choose to accept it to get an automatic first down. That is not the penalty you want when you're leading. Or any time at all. Here's Edmer looking to throw a left side. That is complete to Donnell Smallwood, and he is hurt. Donnell Smallwood has been injured. That is not good for London, losing one of their X Factors. The good news is that he's on the sideline, and I think he's going to be okay. Ready, ready. 15, Lonnie. 15, Lonnie. Get off the field. Chat, chat, chat. Second down and two. Going to give it off to Judge. He gets the first down up to the 16. Come on, set. 10 logo. First down at the 16 for the Monarchs. They're going to give it down the middle to Nickerson. And uh, he gains three. Here's Ebner. Has time to pocket. Throw left side, and that is complete to judge. And it brings up first and goal. Ebner. Pump fakes. Ed zone. And that's it. Complete with. <laughs> Excuse me, I had to, I had to sneeze. Ebner, play fake, under pressure, Enzo, touchdown! No, incomplete. We're gonna try for same play. Gets out of that sack, Ebner, Ebner! This time he goes down. That is, that is Denzel Dixon with the sack. That'll bring up a third and long. 
Look at Ebner there. Dixon coming off the coming off his blind side. I mean, there he should have rolled left, tucked it down, and ran with it. Or at least probably throw it away. Then you would have a third and goal from the one. Instead, it's a loss of 14. Coming up on third and goal. Ebner sells it right side. That's complete to Willis Russell. And another field goal attempt for the Monarchs. Thomason is three for three. Kick is up and good. 11 to, sev to 17. The Monarchs lead. Let's see that again. Splits the uprights. And we want to remind you that this weekend is seven games, including this one. Join us tomorrow night just down the road from us here in Austin to San Antonio as we see the Dublin Celtic Tigers take on the, the San Antonio Marshals. That game Friday night at 8 p.m. tomorrow Eastern time tomorrow here on the WFL YouTube channel. Looking at Bill Kaufman's stats, he hasn't had the best game. Play action. Kaufman going through a right side in. His running back, Weiss, the fullback, takes a big hit. At least second down. Hang off right side to to McAllister, and he gets down to the 31, which brings up third down and seven. That's a good run by McAllister. To get him, it wasn't the best run. So it'll be third and long for the Desperados. Here's Kaufman stepping up in the pocket. Let's go tuck it out and run, but I think we got a. So Bill Kaufman has been charged with an illegal forward pass. I don't know if he. I don't think he lateraled it, but I, he was definitely beyond the line of scrimmage. And here is the punt. This one's going to be return. Shoot, the return tries to do a spin move, and he makes it to the 31. Marcus Judge today, four rushes for 23 yards. Him and Nickerson have been doing great splitting carries. Mostly splitting carries. First down for London at the 31. Here's Ebner looking to throw. And Ebner gets it to, to Smallwood at the 36. Hurrying up to the line. Good throw right side. That's complete. Deep two. Can't see his number. 15, Ger Gerard Gray. Gets another first down up to the 39. He steps out of bounds to save the clock. That's a nice play by Gray. I mean, Ebner threw it perfectly to him. Nice lob pass to... And then the spiral to... Then Gray jumping up. That was great. Ball's tipped and incomplete. And so we're not going to have time to see who it was. Ebner throwing to complete to Smallwood. Trying to go through and the face mask will be called. So a second face mask called against the, the Austin defense. This time it's on Antoine McGowan. This will move the chains for the Monarchs for another... Automatic first down. Let's go. 
Here's Ebner. Throwing right side, and that is tipped away by Antoine McGowan. Second down and 10 for London. Here's Ebner. What are you going to throw? That's time in the pocket. Now he dumps it off to Marcus Judge, who gets down to the 11, and a timeout will be called by London. This is their first charge to the half. Third down and five for London at the 11-yard line. Here's Ebner, under pressure, and he will go down as a timeout is called by London. That's their second with the with the sack committed by Sean Charles. And here's a field goal for the Monarchs. This will be their fourth of the game, and that is good to bring the Monarchs within. Brings them within three points. And that makes it look like they never got a safety. They never got a safety. Here's the kick. This will be returned from inside the end zone. And he will return up to the to the twenty-seven. Let's see what the Desperados will do. Now we see Lindsey McAllister. I wonder if the if the Diablos are just gonna chew clock. Here's Coffin throwing left side complete to to Nate Moore. And a timeout gonna be called by the offense. With just one left. Throwing left side complete. It'll be a first down. At least they're going to let the clock run a little bit. Kaufman throwing it left. Could see who it was. That is McAllister to the 49. Steps out. And watch the blitz by the Monarchs. Every two-man blitz throwing it left side out to, out to Quandre Seymour. As the clock still runs and a timeout going to be called at the 37. I think they might try for a last second field goal if I'm not mistaken. Yep. This will be a 54 yard attempt for Raymond Kershaw. Kicks up. Low drive and that is no good. Half time. It's half time here in Austin as the home team leads 17 to 14. Now let's get a look at the halftime stats, as you see there on the board. Let's look at different games going on. So, let's take a look at Orlando Sacramento rematch of the of the twenty of the twenty eighteen fall season championship game, week one, Sunday, four oh five. Sunday Night Football Divisional Rivalry between the Memphis Steamers and the Columbus Aviators. And then we will... Let's look to... The Portland Lumberjacks taking on the Salt Lake City Elks. That will be Monday Night Football at 10.15 Eastern. Here on the WFL YouTube channel. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been it's been the de the Desperados defense who has gotten them into the lead. As we send it back to Austin, Texas, we are ready for the kickoff. Austin gets ball first, attacking from right to left, and the returner. Number 48, Hurst, 
That's Corey Hurst. He gets it up to the 28. Here's Bill Kaufman. Let's see if he, <coughs> excuse me, if he gets, if he does better in the second half and holds this lead. They're going to head off left side to McAllister. Gets through to the 43. That's about six yards, we're going to estimate, after contact. And McAllister gets 5,000 career rushing yards. Let's see that again. McAllister running left, right jukes. Great achievement for him. 5,000 yards rushing total for his career. And there, he's going to ask the trainers to, to keep that ball safe for him. First down and 10 for the, the Desperados at the 43. Going to give it down the middle to McAllister. Second down and six for the Desperados. They'll throw it left side. That's complete. And he'll make it down to the 50. It'll be third down. McAllister gets the handoff, and he will gain five up to the 45. That'll be another first down. McAllister has seven rushes for 37 yards. He's had a productive game from the ground this evening. Excuse me. First down and 10 for the Desperados at the 45. McAllister gets the handoff again, and that run doesn't go anywhere. It'll be second down. Second down for the Desperados from the 45. Coffin. And give it to McAllister again. Tries to find a hole. He breaks free of a tackle, and forward progress gets him to 39. Now that's not... My mistake, that wasn't McAllister, that was Ray Tran. They're gonna get They're definitely gonna give McAllister a break on this drive as he get He gets the ball off to To Code to Cade Bailey for the first down. Cade Bailey is a, is one of these tight ends that I think is gonna make a Big impact in the league. First down for Austin at the 32. McAllister runs it again. This time he goes to the 31. At least second down and nine. Kaufman pressure going to get the screen, and it will not be. A good one as it'll be third down and nine. Kaufman gonna throw it left side to his tight end Bailey. It'll be fourth down. I think they're gonna go for they're gonna try for another field goal. There's a field goal unit on the field. Kershaw's kick is up and it is good. So it's been field goals all game for the for both sides as Austin extends their lead. 20 to 14. Kicks away. It'll be returning it from the end zone. Taking it up past the 25 down to the 28. And it'll be first down. 26 yards per return by Gunter. And now here is... 
Here is Daryl Nickerson back for the Monarchs. They're throwing over the middle. It's Marcus Judge. He and he will get the first down up to the 42. Coming up quickly, first and 10 from the 42. Play action, Ebner. Gonna throw it over the middle to to Keontae McLaughlin. Ebner throwing left side. That's complete. And he's gonna go to the 10. Touchdown, London. First career touchdown reception by Marcus Judge. And they tie the game. 20 all. Look at Judge there. Gets past the last defender, goes in. Let's see for the start. Gets the run. He runs out past. Defenders totally miss him. And that was also good blocking by by others involved. Here is the PAT attempt for the Monarchs. Kick is up and it is good. London regains the lead 21 to 20. As we remind you that this game is brought to you by Atwood Family Farms. The official blueberry of the World Football League. Here's the kick return from the two. Gonna bring it out to the 29 yard line. It'll be a first down. Here comes the Desperados. McAllister coming back on the field. First and 10. For the Diablo, for the not the Diablos, Desperados. Kaufman over the middle. That's complete to Joey Massey up to the 41. And that's a first down for the Desperados. No, that was that was Hubbard. This time he gets it to his receiver, Quandre Seymour. For a first down. Third reception for Seymour today. Play action. Coffin blindside not protected. He goes down. Second sack of the day by Darius Jackson. He'll be second and long for the Desperados. He was in a tough situation there. On the set. Second and 19 for Austin at their own 44. Kaufman over the middle and the, what a great shot to the chest by, by linebacker Clifford Rowland to, the, to pop the ball free. Kaufman takes a big drop back and takes a shot that's rolling again. He's been making hard hits this game. He's the hit stick tackle on that for sure. So McAllister gets it. And it'll be fourth down. They'll have to punt it away. Putting toward the sideline. And out of bounds at their own 10. That was a good pump by Donaldson. And Taylor Ebner is coming back up. Now we've seen him on the ground most of the game. And that's not really that good. But they have the lead. That's good. Let's see if they can try to avoid any sacks on this drive. 
Ebner, pump fakes. Throws and completes to Marcus Judge. And he'll make it down to the 19. It's going to be second down. Now that... Now, uh, Taylor Ebner. Tyler Ebner is over 300 yards passing on the day. So I think he's been doing great. He's had a great debut, but the he's been taking a lot of sacks, and that's not good. Second and one. Ebner left side. That's picked off. That's going to be a... No. It's not going to be a pick six. That was intercepted by number 28. Uh, Alex Vance. And I thought for sure when that was... I thought for sure that... When that was picked, I thought it was going to be a pick six. Let's see. But... If he just ran... And not stopped, that is block... The, the down marker is blocking. And now here comes... One of their star receivers in Desmond Hubbard, who has been great for the Desperados. First down and 10 for Austin at the 16. Ready. 56. Ready, ready. Faking the jet sweep, gonna hand it off. Down the middle to McAllister. Down to the seven, it's gonna be a first and, no, it's not gonna be a first and goal, second and one. They give it to McAllister again, try to push downfield it, and he will get down to the three. That moves the chains for a first and goal. And I think there's going to be a free safety blitz. Kaufman, and so touchdown! Desperados, Sam McDonald gets in for the score. Oh, oh I thought that was a seven, that's 81. Excuse me, Quandre Seymour with the touchdown. I thought it, I thought it said 87. Ready, ready. 30 base. So they're going to go for a two-point conversion to extend their lead by a touchdown. McAllister still on his feet, but. It won't be the two points no good. And Austin will have a they will have a five point lead. Scoring summary is is three plays, sixteen yards, and the touchdown. They didn't have to move down the field that much. And so they'll punt it away. Here's the return man. Nickerson. No, not Nickerson. Lynn Gunter. He has 25 yards per return. And here's Nate Ebner. 30 for 40. 307 yards. He's thrown for a touchdown and two interceptions. So we'll see what how he does here. First and ten for London at the 23. Ebner in the pocket. Fumbles the football. And it's recovered by the Desperados. They're going to go in and score again. Touchdown, Austin. That's a holding against Stuart Snell. So the penalty is declined, and that is a touchdown. That is the fourth turnover for the Monarchs in this game. The kick is up and it's good. 33 to 21. And I think that the turnover well, it I don't think it's obvious that the turnovers are killing London's momentum. Here's the kickoff. This one's going to be returned down to the 25. Go, 
on, set, 60 Pittsburgh. Watch 54, watch 54. <laughs> First down and 10 for, for London. Over the middle, that's incomplete. That really should have been picked off. It'll be, instead, it'll be second down. McAllister steps up in the pocket, throwing right side. What a catch by Ger Gerard Gray. And Gray gets a first down up to the 42. Chavis with six tackles. First down and 10 for London at their own 42. Ebner going to throw right side. That's complete to Gray at the 49. I think there's going to be a blitz for Austin. Pump fakes. Throw it left side. What a catch. What a catch by Willis Russell. It'll be a first down for London. Right side throwing Marcus Judge down to the 33. He'll be second and seven. Ebner over the middle completes to Silver. Silver gets up to the 26. That is not going to be enough for first down. They just got to sneak it over the line. They do a fake jet sweep, handing off to Nichols to Nickerson, and he gains a first down up to the 23. Pushes the. Pushes his way for a hole and gets the first down. Look at that. First down for London at the 23. Hang off to Nickerson and he gets pushed down to the 14. And I don't think he got pushed ahead for a first down. No, he didn't. At least second and one. Nickerson's going to go out wide. Ebner over the middle. It's complete to Silver up to the nine. It'll be first and goal. Here's Ebner. Logan right side. And Silver could have get in. As he gets stopped down at the one. Let's see if we will get one more play before the end of the third quarter. Uh, play action. Ever under pressure and goes down. Connor Moss makes the sack. And he had half of a sack. Let's see who made the other half. Looks like number 53. Uh, Denzel Dixon made the other half and that is how the third quarter ends we'll be back after this looking at the stats that first quarter by Austin has hurt the Monarchs let's see if they can get back into the scorecard Nickerson touchdown Austin uh, touchdown London Nickerson first rushing touchdown of the day. It's his guys make it a one possession game here in the fourth. Here is the extra point attempt from the 15. The kick is up and it is good. So it's a it's a touchdown game. This is one of my favorite moments in football. The fourth quarter, even though it's early in the fourth quarter, but it's a one possession game in the fourth. So we'll see what happens. 
Balls on the tee. We are ready to go. And this one will be returned from the from the end zone. And return up to the 24. We'll see how the Desperados look on this drive. See if they can keep the lead. Kaufman. He hasn't. He, he has clearly been the lesser quarterback here, despite all the fumbles by Nickers by by Ebner. All right. My apologies. It's not a one touchdown game. It's a five point game. McAllister gets the handoff down to the 26. So it'll be second down and eight. Kaufman going to throw left side and it's complete to the tight end, Cade Bailey. First down for Austin at the 35. Kaufman looking to throw. That's complete to Diego Contreras. Down to the 43. It'll be second one for the Desperados. Gonna give it to McAllister, gets a first down to move the chains up to the 49. First down for Austin at the 49. There's a snap handoff to McAllister, running down to the 44. That's a five yard gain on the play. It'll be second down to three. Throws a screen out wide to to Desmond Hubbard that's his first rush gets six yards and that's the first down point Dexter on the tackle the soup the X factor they're gonna set another screen this time to Joey Massey and he gets a not a first down gets nine yards up to the 30 for second down Kaufman keeps now floating end zone Picked off in the end zone. Picked off by Taj Means. So that'll bring, that'll be a touchback back to the 20. Boy, that was a really risky ball to throw. I, I, he thought he had him clear, but that was the free safety. Yeah, he probably. I'll have to check the film after the game, but it looked like on the play he he w went over on the right side. That is always a big mistake if you're a quarterback. Yeah, see where the free safety is. Ebner throwing over the middle, complete to to Donnell Smallwood. He gets a first down. He has five receptions for 50 yards. The Austin defense has already allowed 400 yard, 400 scrimmage yards. That's a nice play by Smallwood. First down and 10 for London at the at their own 40. Looks like they're going to set up a screen. And Judge is going to lose the yard to the 39. It'll be second down. In my opinion, I always hate screens while playing Madden. This one is a completion to Clayton Silver, and he will go up to the 41. That is another first down for London. Let's see that again over the middle to, to Silver. That's a nice read by Ebner to get say, to get Silver open for the Silver got open for the nice safe route to get the first down. First down and ten for London at the 41. Ebner. We're gonna throw over the middle. That's Silver again. Gets the first down to the 23. 11th reception by Silver. Go, 
First down, London at the 23. Let's go, D, tighten up. Let's go, D, tighten up. Deep rip, deep rip. Here's Ebner. Pressure breaks. He's running by wide one back that far, but the good news is that is a face mask. Face mask. Defense. Denzel Dixon, who brought the pressure, gets a face mask call. So... It'll be an automatic first down to the 27, which is a downgrade, but but you get a fresh set of downs to move the, to try to move the chains again. Ebner over the middle. That's complete to Gabe Presley. First time we've called his name today. Going up to the 20, it'll be second down. That's nice over the short, over the over the line throw to Presley. Got seven yards on that second and three for the Monarchs at the twenty. Here's Ebner gonna hand it off and Nickerson takes a shot down at the nineteen. It'll be third down and two. Play action. Ebner under pressure, and he goes down. That is Raphael McIntyre with the sack. That is his second sack of the day. You see Ebner with the play fake. And McIntyre got through to him. And sacked him. And now here's the field goal to bring this within a two-point game. Kick is up, and it is good by Thomason. And so it's a two-point game. And here's the... Here's the kick, going to be returned from the end zone. I take it up to the 28, and that'll be a face mask call. Face mask. Defense. That's against Gerard Pickney, the free safety. He was playing on special teams and got the call. So they'll be brought to the to their own 43 instead of the, their own 28. Gonna give it to McIntyre and he will take a shot down to the at the 45. Callister, sorry. Give it to McAllister again, trying to juke and he will gets down to the 48. He'll be third down. They're going to change the play quickly. Going to hand it off down the middle to McAllister. And gains the first down again. I think they're the, the Desperados are trying, going to play more conservatively on the rest of their offensive drives when they have the lead. Nice run by McAllister. He finds the hole there. Gets the first down. And keeps the clock running. Gonna give it to their backup Ray Tarrant. Or Tarrant. I think his name is Ray Tarrant. That's their backup running back. I think it's the first time we've called his name today. Second down and 12 for Austin at the 43. There's a snap, hand off. Down the middle, that is Tarrant up to the 30. 
and he moves the chains for another first down. That's what you need to do when you're in this situation. You have a slim lead that you want to keep. Keep the clock running for as long as you can. Kaufman going to throw. Now he's going to tuck it down and roll with it. He jukes. Gets the first down. Up to the 17. And, and Desperados fans look away. Your starting quarterback is down and hurt. We'll be back. Okay, he's on the sideline. That's a good sign. But I think we're going to see the backup for the first time, James Mullen. Mullen tries to set up a screen to, to McAllister. McAllister gets the first down. He's trying to juke his way, but he gets a first down up to the five. There's Mullen going to hand it off to McAllister. McAllister going to run in and extend the the Desperados lead. Touchdown, Austin. Lindsey McAllister extends the Desperados lead by eight, hopefully by nine with the extra point. There's an aerial shot, and McAllister got in easily. And here is the the PAT, and it's good, 40 to 31 for Austin. Even though the games are longer in the WFL this season, for moments like these, this is why I I got it up to 15 minutes. A shootout like this. Spinning around and it looks like he got the face mask. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Parrish Terrell with the face mask call. Automatic first down. And so London will have the will get the ball at the 39. They have to score here if they want to ensure that they have a chance to win. Here's Ebner. The throw right side, and that's incomplete. That was 42. Uh, who was that? 42 is Leon Charles. So second down. Ebner, the throw that was tipped. And falls incomplete. Now a third and long, trying to avoid a, a three and out. They have to try to avoid a three and out. Gonna throw, picked off by Austin. Gonna go to the 30. Going to the 10, touchdown Austin, and I think that seals their fate. That was Kyler Chavez with the, with the pick six. I think that's the second pick six against, against the Monarchs in this game. So, that might put Austin in the win column for the first time this season. And now here is the two point conversion attempt to try to make this a 17 point game. Gonna throw a right side complete to Joey Massey. Two point conversion is good. And the Desperados lead by 17. And I think that the this might be in the win column for the Desperados. And here is the kick. And he'll be returning this down to the 26. It'll be a first down for Austin. Here is Taylor Ebner. It'll be first down for the London Monarchs. The throw over the middle. That's complete to Silver down to the 31. 
Monarchs have to act quick if they want to stay alive. Here's Ebner. Looking to throw over the mid. Oh, right side. That is a great catch by Sam McDonald. With a wrong 87. Sorry, that's Willis Russell. I was actually looking at the Desperados team roster sheet. Uh, great hauling by by Willis Russell. Solid catch. Gets him the first down. First down for London at the 40. Here's Ebner. He has time in the pocket. Now he doesn't. And first guy doesn't get him, but the second guy does. McIntyre gets a sec another sack, a loss of 18. That well, I think that McIntyre was credited with getting him down. He forced that loss, but Connor Moss finished him off. Ebner looking to throw under pressure and goes down to the 15 and we have reached the two minute warning now so if Desperados want to win they gotta excuse me if the Monarchs want to win they gotta act now you gotta drive down they gotta drive 51 yards down the field gonna hand it off to to Nickerson down to the 42 a nine second runoff has been implemented. Ebner going deep. Caught at the by Chester Pagel. First time we've called his name today. First to goal. Ebner. Ebner end zone. And that falls incomplete. It's going to be second and goal. And we are going to have a false start called. Second and goal. Gonna go. head off down the middle to Judge, trying to spin. Goes through. Down to the three. A 10 second runoff has been implemented for the hurry up. Throwing end zone. Oh, what a catch that would have been by Silver. Fourth and goal. Play action, Ebner going end zone, and that is caught, but there's a flag down. Illegal touching, offense. So that's illegal touching against. So that's going to be a turnover on downs. So the Desperados get the ball back. Going to head it off down the middle to, to McAllister. And the, and the Monarchs aren't even going to try to take a timeout. And that's going to do it for the first game. The, the Desperados go in the win column for the first time this season. They go up to 1-0 with the win. And the, Monar the Monarchs will fall to 0-1 with the defeat. Per season points, Austin will get two points. London will get zero. Will get zero points with the game played. And there, there are the Desperados going into their locker room to celebrate a victory. Desperados win, 48 to 31. Thank you for watching the the game. Subscribe to to the YouTube channel and follow the league on Twitter. Link is in the description below. From Austin, Texas. From Austin, Texas. We.
I'm I'm Commissioner Prestavari saying so long from Austin.